So the wood that I'm using for these doors, I'm gonna be using poplar. This is just a one by three in poplar. Poplar is the softest hardwood there is. So it's more expensive because it's a hardwood, but it's gonna be a lot straighter and it's actually cheaper than most hardwood. So that's what we're using here. And then I also, I could not find any quarter inch MDF at Lowe's or Home Depot, I don't think they sell them. So I'm, I have this scrap temper cardboard and it's actually an eighth of an inch. So I'm gonna put two of these together and I'm hoping that that will be just enough to shove in to the thing, the little ridges that we make. I'm also going to be using my router with these special bits that I got off of Amazon specifically for making doors. Um, you don't need a router to make this. You can use your table saw and I'll link a YouTube video here that, um, that I found helpful for how to do the same thing on a table saw. But I've got a router and I'm gonna get good at making doors because I'm gonna have a lot to make in my next house. I also have a router table here that I'm gonna use to attach my router so that I can have it upside down using and use it. However, you can make a router table. If you have a router, no router table, you can make a router table. You don't have to buy one if you don't want to. Okay, so measuring the doors. My doors are gonna be 12 by 24 inches. I'm doing what's called a half inch overlay, which means there's the opening of the cabinet, right? And I am going to overlay half an inch on three of those sides. So these right here are my rails for my door, okay? So I want this to be 12 by 24, which means I cut these already to 24 tall. But if I want my door to be 12 inches wide, I'm going to have to add this right here. So that's five inches exactly, these two together. 12 minus five is seven. <laughs> so that means this section from here to here is going to be seven inches, but I don't wanna cut it at seven inches because I need to take these into account. These are gonna be half an inch, okay? So I'm going to do an eight inch piece and then I'll cut my tabs right here and then it will cinch down to seven. So now I'm going to take my, my rails and I'm going to cut a groove directly out of the center of this. And I want to make marks on the edge of my board. So this is exactly three quarters of an inch of an inch deep. So I'm going to mark one quarter right there and one quarter right there. And now that is exactly where I want to set my router bit. Okay, so I set my router table to a half an inch. There's the one inch, there's a half. So I know it's gonna cut a half an inch deep. And I also set this, I don't know if you can see. You see how my blade is directly lined up with the lines? That means it's gonna cut exactly where I want it to. Okay, so I just switched this bit out for this bit, and this is the one that's going to cut my tongue. Okay, so I just tried doing the other end. <laughs> and it ripped this apart. So, my idea to, to keep that from happening is to clamp all of these together so that it rips these ends rather than the middle one because I have to take it and go this way. Let's see if it works. <laughs> show you this. Ready? Booyah! That's what I'm talking about. 
So when I add the other side, we should have 12 inches across. Right there. Okay, so I forgot to do one thing and that was to cut my, my grooves into my styles. So I only need to do one side, but let's do it. Okay, so we've got this put together. I know that my grooves are half an inch deep right so i'm going to take this measurement and add half inch here and a half inch here and a half inch all the way around and that's what that's the size that my core is going to be so i just cut two of these to the right size i'm hoping that that is the right size to shove in there. Oh yeah, look at that, fits nicely. We did it! So I'm just going to go through and glue and clamp all of these and then I will sand it down and paint it.